Hi folks, thanks for watching. This is an overview of VE Cloud Director from VMware. Before we actually get into the application itself, we have a quick diagram here explaining kind of at a logical point of view what VE Cloud Director is broken into. First we have something called an organization, which is our customers. Uh, BitRefiner will have multiple organizations for each one of our customers. Under each organization, you're assigned a virtual data center. Uh, for simplicity's sake, uh, we're just for this diagram, we're just saying you have one for right now. We may have customers that have more, but for right now, uh, most of our customers will just have one virtual data center. And a virtual data center is where the resources are granted to. So if you were to purchase two, two CPUs, um, memory, SAN storage, that's all applied at the virtual data center. Off of a virtual data center, they've created something called a catalog. This is where uh, an organization can upload their own um, templates, OVF files, um, or ISO files. There's also a concept of a public catalog that BitRefinery will be publishing. It will have Windows um, operating systems sent, um, some Bitnami um, applications that are already preloaded. So it's really that's where your one touch um, you know your one-click install software is going to come from. Underneath the virtual data center we have a concept called a vApp which is a virtual application. So basically what it is, is a logical grouping of virtual machines. Most of our customers will just have one vApp with their one or more many VMs running inside that. And underneath there under vApp is, is you'll have mobile uh, uh, virtual machines, one or many. Uh, some of our larger customers may have multiple vApps. Um, maybe different departments in the company. That's what they were created for. So we're going to go ahead and log into vCloud Director. And when you first logged in, you're hit with a dashboard. Um, there's different tabs up here that you can go to. There's a home, my cloud, catalogs, and administration. We'll quickly go through each one of these. In the home tab, it's everything that you would want to do. Um, it's broken down into organization resources to look at your organization manage your virtual data centers, uh, manage networks, you have content where you're going to create your vApps and your VMs, manage your catalog, and then uh, look at your users and groups. Down here you have a little section where if you have any vApps already running, which this customer has one, um, you can quickly get to your vApps from here. So you can open it, you can stop your vApp. Um, here's an actual console of a VM that you can get right into. So if I were to click on the console screen it's going to open up a window right into the console as you can see this is a real live VM so if you click on my cloud this is where it breaks down the V apps so right now we have one virtual app in here called lucky CentOS 64-bit and that if you click down on the VMs that has one virtual machine it's a CentOS 5 VM running right now. If you had multiple virtual apps, you would see them listed here as well. We can also click into the virtual app and it shows a diagram of any kind of um, VMs that we have hooked into this virtual app. And you can click on the virtual machines and this is where it lists your virtual machines. So under each of the virtual machines, you have the typical options you have in vCenter, um, power off, suspend, reset, what they don't have yet that I've seen is a way to power off the guest. This is a hard power off. So you have to go into the um, VM and actually power the guest off and then power it off from here. Um, enter DVD, install VMware tools, and let's look, go ahead and look at the properties of this virtual machine. We have the full name here. It's operating system, typical virtual machine information. Here we have the CPU memory. This one's one CPU, one gig of RAM. It talks about how much um, hard disk we have assigned to this VM and then what network uh, we have attached to it. We also have guest customization. So when we first create this VM, um, it, it assigns it a password down here. That's the password. So, and let's see, that's it for that. So that's basically where you spend most of your time in your V apps and then your, and your office, uh, any kind of VMs that you have on that. And then we get into the catalogs. 
an organization, which is our customers, can have their own catalogs. They can create as many catalogs as they want. They would they can upload um, OBF files. So as you can see here, if I want to, uh, if I have my own OBF file that I want to upload, I can do that. They also have the media tab where I can upload my own ISO images or FLP media files. And when we come down, there's also a section here for public catalogs. And under the public catalogs, uh, Bitrefiner will publish their own public catalogs. So we have right now we have Windows, Linux, and some Bitnami packages. So if we were to click on these are the pack the vapps template tab, these are the different packages that we have. We have Windows 2008, Enterprise Standard, Web Edition some Linux flavors, Ubuntu, Debian, Scent. And these are all the gold images. So basically these are one click installs. If I wanted to install one of these guys, I would just right mouse click and say add to my cloud. It's that easy to add any of these operating systems as a virtual machine. Well, we'll also have a media library that will publish. Um, that will just be straight ISO files. So if the, one of these virtual applications doesn't have, it has too much um, disk space and you only want 10 gig or something like that, you have the option to build your own uh, virtual machines off of the ISOs that we can provide. And then again, you can also upload your own ISOs. Keep in mind, in an organization catalog, when you upload ISOs, it, 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 um, it reduces the amount of storage that you purchase. Let's say you purchase 20 gig of storage. If you upload a 2 gig ISO file, a Windows ISO file, it, it's going to take 2 gig out of your storage. That brings us to the last tab here is the administration. Here, this is where our virtual data center is for this customer. If you right mouse click and go to properties, this is how much, how many uh, resources are being consumed right now. So the CPU here, um, they're not using any of the CPU currently right now. Um, they're using 1.5 gig of memory and 21 gig of the 100 gig of memory that's um, storage that's allotted. So at any time you come in here and see how much resources you're consuming. And then we have a networks portion here. This tells you what networks are granted to this organization. Currently we just have a, some static IPs that are granted to this organization for them for testing. So that's about it. That's a quick overview of vCloud Director from a customer's point of view. We'll follow this up with more tutorials about how to build a vApp, um, add some virtual machines to it upload some catalogs and that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.